going to talk about garter snakes, one of the most common snakes in Nebraska. We do have four types of garter snakes, but what most people see around cities and towns and around their homestead is the plains garter snake. Uh, the plains garter snake and the common garter snake are found statewide. The way to tell it's a garter snake in Nebraska, three distinct lines down the body. Those lines could be any color. Now the one thing about these snakes, they virtually carry no germs, viruses, fleas or ticks that will transfer to people and they're beneficial. They eat earthworms and insects. So their teeth are very small, less than an eighth of an inch. If you see them, let them be. However, if you're one of those people who have trouble letting them be in your yard, even though they're completely beneficial and harmless, there is some things you can do to discourage them from getting in your home and being around your landscape. And one of the only things that work is exclusion. If you have rock walls that are loose, they love that. If you have railroad tie walls or tie walls that are very loose, they also like that to reproduce in. So go to a tight landscaping. Also, they love tall grass. Keeping the grass well groomed and low will also discourage the garter snakes. Now around the house, you can use different types of landscaping. You don't want to use things like river rock. They like the river rock. They can get down in the river rock. They can actually have their babies in the river rock. River rock. So that I would discourage the river rock up next to the house when it comes to garter snakes. Wood chips they also love because wood chips would attract insects and they love those insects. That's like a bed and breakfast. The one kind of landscaping they seem to dislike the most is lava rock. This sharp rock, they don't like to crawl across it and they don't like to crawl into it because it cuts up that very tender scale in the front of their face. So lava rock about six inches deep, two foot out from the house, is not the greatest landscaping for plants but it's excellent for keeping snakes away from the house. The other thing is you sometimes, and every year I get several people call me that snakes get in their house. So around the outside, you may want to put this, some kind of device like this, around your dryer vent. Because as it gets cooler, they want to get up in that nice warm dryer vent. If you have aluminum siding or vinyl siding that warms up, this device can go in the corners. They love to go up in the corners of that siding if it's within two foot of the ground. So these can be purchased and put up underneath the corner of the siding to stop them from going up. Okay, if you think a garter snake has gotten into the home, there's several places you can look. The most prominent place would be the basement or first floor. They like to go where it's warm and moist, under a dishwasher, under a hot water heater, under some place where there's a lot of moisture and heat, maybe by the furnace. Another thing you can do is use baking soda or talc powder, put it down in areas where you think it may be, and then the next morning look for tracks to see which way the snake went. Once you find a place where the snake could be, there's several ways you can capture it. You can put a towel, a crumped up towel that's moist in the corner in a dark place, and stretch another towel over it. Or you can use what we call a snake glue board, which is just a board that has glue and stripes. The snake goes into this small snake glue board gets stuck and then you bring it outside put vegetable oil on it and the snake is released so if snakes are around the yard first thing education try to educate yourself to live with them and enjoy their beneficial attributes if you still can't seem to live with them in your yard in your area there's several things you can do to keep them away remember don't spend money on a lot of uh, things like repellents because most of those have been proven not to work Go with exclusion. Exclusion is your best friend when you don't want the snakes around.